Hello and welcome to Ready API, an integrated suite of applications for API testing. In this video, we will explain how to use Ready API to validate responses with assertions. We will use a custom project to interact with the sample Swagger Pet Store service. It contains a request that sends the pet's ID to the service. The service sends information about the requested pet in the response. We've already entered the ID. Let's send the request and validate the response we've received. To begin, we expand the assertions panel of the request editor and click this button to add an assertion. The subsequent dialog shows all assertions you can apply to the response. There are multiple categories of assertions for various tasks, like for example, validating the message content and the message structure. For now, let's make sure that the service processes our request properly. The easiest way to do this is to check the status code, and for this purpose, we will use the valid HTTP status code assertion. We need to supply one or more expected status codes within the assertion settings dialog. Let's add the status code 200, it means OK, to the list, and the status code 301 as well. After saving the assertion, Ready API applies it to the last response and marks the assertion as passed. Let's now check the response's content. Our service returns JSON, so we will use one of the assertions that validates JSON. The JSON path match assertion checks whether the specified node within the response message contains the expected value. To specify the node to check, click this button. From the last response's data, we can obtain the name of the first tag of our pet. Click on it. Ready API generates the JSON path expression, which refers to a specific node within a JSON message. You can adjust it as you see fit. For example, change the index number to refer to another tag or even replace the index number with an asterisk to refer all tags at once. We know that the pet we want is a Mastiff, so let's enter the result we expect. The second assertion has been created and Ready API marks this assertion as passed too. If we don't change the ID, the service returns the same response, so this assertion will pass, but if we change the ID, the service will return information about another pet, and the assertion will fail. Now you know how to use assertions to validate content of responses. Check out our other videos to learn about transferring data, using parameters, and more. And thank you for watching.